With another video of the closet catalog series and are the girls tired of me saying this in every video I just have to say it just in case this is the first of the series that you watch but uh, this is a series that we created to go through all of our clothes kind of revisiting them sometimes we forget her because of sponsored videos uh, uh, or because we have our own clothes that we were on the regular and then there's a few that we kind of forgot so we're revisiting them we're seeing which one we should keep donate sell or throw out and how will we determine that just by the look how we feel in them is it even the correct size do we even like this anymore in hopes that you know maybe we create a capsule closet maybe question mark as you may or may not know because of the rebrand era we changed our style so we were experimenting with a bunch of clothes especially because you know uh with plus size clothes you know sometimes you just gotta experiment with what you have and what is available to you so you get a little out of hand maybe uh, and don't really know what fits right on you because the plus size fitting of clothes may be different across all stores or even within the stores babe I couldn't tell you as you may or may not know the girls have lost some body measurements so maybe it's time for some of these clothes to go because they're a little too baggy but then we have the dilemma of you know what but what if we gain the measurements back and need those clothes again but the girls were telling me you know what Tina you just need clothes that fit you now don't worry about the future. Just just have clothes that fit you now. And we don't have to do that in an excessive buying way. We just we just determine how it goes for now. Let's get straight into it, girls. Uh, today, if you couldn't tell by the title, we are doing jackets and outerwear. Outerwear and jackets. Now I'm gonna be so real with you, I don't know what necessarily counts as outerwear. Like you can be like, yeah, Tina, a jacket. But sometimes it's like the spectrum is large, like, is an outerwear also a, a, a corset? You know, maybe not, I feel like that's the top. But it doesn't matter because I'm not showing you corsets today. <laughs> we, as always, will be dividing them into categories, so if you feel like you don't want to see a certain category, girl, all the timestamps are always in the description. We are going to start off and speed run our denim jackets first because they were already featured in one of the videos in the series, in the denim video of the series. So if you want to... See the stories that I tell for the denim jackets? That will be in there. In this case, we will be speedrunning them. This jean jacket from my Bloom Sheet haul. If you watched the video, you would know that, you know what? The fit is cool. It would have been a keep. However, there's these weird cuts here. Maybe we should just sew them up ourselves. I don't know. But the, the ripped is making me feel like it is a sell. Here we have our Forever 21 camel denim jacket. Did I say camel? From high school, was the salon high school. Wore it with a hoodie underneath, normally a navy green one. Loved it at the time, but now it's feeling like a drop. Not so sure of a sell because I did wear this a lot. Maybe sell for super cheap, I don't know, but not into her now. Our next one from Yassel, she's a little tight. She needs to go. The sleeve part, not into it. And this is why I, I am not standing the denim jackets. No, because we haven't found one that we love. Bridging the gaps between denim and corduroy. To be honest, I could not tell you what this material is. Is it denim? Is it corduroy? There are different materials though because you know the patches. And our next corduroy jacket outerwear is this pink one in which I love. I wear this a lot. If I were to style it for you, yes, it would just be this a white shirt, either black pants or blue jeans. Question mark. However, what I style it with to feel a little fancy, give her a little flair. That's when the girls are feeling a little fancy. She is thin, so that's why we can wear a skirt in the summertime. You know, we. Well, let's say spring or summer. She is from my style where it's called Tina Tran. And we have another one from Shein. You know what? Maybe I hate denim jackets because they're too thick. So they're kind of restricting. And the corduroy is, is giving flexibility. And I kind of love her. And she's a little bit more baggy, which I love. I got this because of the first Forbidden Store Shein one. I love the fit of her, especially on the arms. And she's a little cropped. But I loved it. So I have a black one. Just plain and simple. I wore this a lot when I had blonde hair uh this one however she's a shutter because why is it detailing like this not into it but whatever <laughs> moving on to our next category windbreakers this is from high school ah haven't worn it since worn in high school though a lot cute she's cute she's from forever 21 she has a pocket here love it's like a pinky peach next we have this old navy windbreaker 
Is this a windbreaker? Probably. I mean, yeah, what makes it not a windbreaker? But uh, I just know I just got it at the sports section in Old Navy and I wear it like this, literally to the gym. When I first started out in the gym, this is what I wore. Three colors at that. We have here this color, sandstorm color, and we also have a beige one that's one size bigger, so she was a little bit more oversized. I don't know where she is. Sandish, not beige, maybe sand, I don't remember. But this is the color that looks the best, and you know, she's cute, okay. Now I just wear her, you know, as a windbreaker, I may need it, to be honest. I wore this a lot during the gym era, so that's why I don't think I should sell these, because the girls were sweating in them. Literally, I would just wear these with just a sports bra under, and then biker shorts. That's it, nothing else, babe, because you know what? The girls were sweating a lot, a lot, a lot. So I just wanted something that was light on me and not too skin tight, you know what I mean? Because I feel so icky, icky. And it needs to be something that was quick dry. Now, though, I, I don't. I just wear, you know, cotton t-shirt. But that's because during this era, this part, we were doing, like, cardio classes or, you know, like, spin class or, 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 or kickboxing or... Step, step training, those ones. But now the girls just do weight training, so she doesn't really need these kind of clothes. Like, we would just wear a baggy tee, call it a day. You know what I mean? We will now be moving on to the leather jackets. Now, I only have two. I haven't experimented that much with leather jackets, and to be honest, I don't think I need to, because I don't think I'm really into leather jackets. So, we'll just keep it at these two and look away. To be honest, they may also just be a sell. Here we have this one. This is from YesStyle. Roars code Tina Tran. As you know, YesStyle, yes, they do have plus size clothes, but also, they have a lot of oversized clothes. So, I think that's our first mistake, because they make oversized clothes for the skinny people. Not, not making oversized clothes because they can be used as plus size. You know, that's really up to you, but because, you know what, it's baggy here, all of a sudden it gets narrow on the bottom. You know what I mean? Like, what is this? So it just looks very circle, very round. I'm not into it. This is not in one of the hauls, I believe. I just wanted my first leather jacket. Well, my first leather jacket was in high school, but that was the only leather jacket I ever had in life. This is my first leather jacket from the rebrands era, during the rebrands era. She has this kind of padding. Ooh, you know what? I'm not mad about it. I actually like this one. I actually wear it out sometimes. I think she's kind of into the cropped, kind of outerwear. Moving on to our knitwear and cardigans. First we have here is a poncho. Are these called ponchos? I'm not too sure. This is very much probably from Forever 21. This is from high school. You know what? Is it giving business casual? I think I wore this to co-op a lot because it was giving business casual, if you ask me. I also feel like a teacher wearing this. You know what? It's kind of a look. Now that we're wearing this again, revisiting it. Mainly wore this in high school, grade 11, 10 ish, I can tell ya. And the next one you'll see is another poncho. It was very much inspired by one of my friends in high school. She always wore ponchos, and I was like, oh my gosh, she looks so cool, so sophisticated. So I wanted to be in that kind of era too. Here's our next one, black and white. You know, I'm actually kind of loving it, but honestly, I don't feel like I will wear it these days. You know what? Maybe the time comes, but you know, I'm actually kind of loving it. Like, it feels good. Yeah, just a suburban mom. Here we have a cardigan, not my best one. I would say my best ones are coming down the line. This is, maybe from AliExpress, a Chromie one. Chromie. Chromie, and she has a bunch of hearts. I don't think I'm into it. I think I'm more into the cardigans that are a little bit more big in the arms, maybe. And also... Cropped. This is, is this a cardigan? I'm not too sure. She's really thin, really floppy. When we tie her up like this, she's super cropped. We love. It's a white one. Got a little damaged in the laundry. Because as you can tell, it's not super white. I bought this initially for the Korea trip because I was wearing a lot of dresses. And then I just wore this with a noodle strap dress. So she was cute. Like, it's a look. Looks a little weird because I'm wearing a white shirt. Don't worry, I when I first got this, I love this so much. So I got another color, a black one. Let me show you. Yes, here is the black one. We love! You know, she's super thin. Sometimes you don't want, sometimes you want a cardigan look, but not one that's going to overheat you. Especially during the summer, you know what I mean? Beautiful, yeah! She feels cute. Here is our cardigan from our Zaffle haul, which we love. She's a cardigan, she's like a sweater vest. Don't know the turn. We could open her if we want. I usually wear it like this, and I love her. One thing about me is I love a good cropped cardigan. And this is a checkered one. Does it count as an outerwear? I don't believe so. But since we are on the topic of a Zaffle sweater vest, <laughs> here is another Zaffle sweater vest. She has heart detailings. I don't know how I feel about her on me. 
It's not giving me the Taeyong look that I want to give. It's more overgrown child. For me, that's how it feels on me. Maybe we do this, so it's a little cuter. I don't know, maybe she's a give or maybe a second chance. Well, this is, I think this is the only sweater vest I have. And maybe it should stay that way. I do have another one. This one's not cropped, she is long. And you know what, I kinda like this one. As you know, she loves a good tuck into the pants moment. Is it not giving Taeyang? Is it not giving <laughs> That's how I feel right now. I do remember I initially got this because I was like, if I ever go back into my green screen era, I would do Harry Potter and then I'll just wear this for the Harry Potter vibe of sweater vest. Here we have this one from Cider. She still kind of confuses me, to be honest. Maybe it was a little too bold of a purchase. What happened to it? Why did it sink down? I'm a little confused. I feel like it's supposed to be on my shoulders, no? Anyways, I got this during our Cider sponsorship just for the twice moment. I was like, ooh, can't stop me or... Well, what happened to it? Isn't it supposed to be more higher? As you can see, she is a flop. And I should have known it when I saw it on the, the, the store listing. Now for the rest of the cardigans I'm about to show y'all, I love them all. However, I don't know which one I got first, but one of the, one, either this one or one of the ones I'm going to show you guys after was one of the cardigans that got me into cardigans. And I started buying more cardigans because we love. This is just a simple cropped, she's a little bag in the arms, we love, not too thick cardigan from the forbidden store and here's a pink version of the black one so you can see a little bit more detailing of it you know what she's a little too oversized maybe here it is closed up is it the pink version of that i'm not too sure i'm pretty sure it is if you notice tara i did wear this to the d-day yugi augusty tour with blue jeans here it is she's cute she's the moment is that the way I should be dressing up for a K-pop concert? Maybe not, but you know what? We were freezing in that line, and this was not keeping me warm. And here we have short. She's pretty short, I would say. Beige, sans, whatever I call her. Cardigan. This one, I don't know if it was a lot, but I wore it during our Korea trip. I wore this paired with either a green skirt or a green dress. I'm not too sure, but I paired it with something green. And I loved it. I stand. Before the Korea chip, when I got this, I was a little iffy on it. But then when I wore the Korea chip, I'm like, oh my god, so good, so stylish, so beautiful on me. Loved. If you don't love it on me, girl, what can I say? But there's a lot of dust. And here is our last cardigan knitwear. This green cloud one. I love this so much, girl. You do not know how many times I've worn it. And each and every time that I wear this, I always wear it in the exact same outfit. Never different. Maybe. I'm not too sure. I wear this green cardigan white top underneath, and then beige pants from Old Navy. A hit, y'all. A hit. The best styling I've ever done in my life. You may be thinking, girl, this is the most basic way you could style it. No, she was a professional. Now we are going to touch into our corporate side. Here we are on the blazers. Here's my pink one. Well, here she is open. Love during my internship era a hit the girl got so many compliments. Let's button that beautiful Okay, she's giving woman in charge woman in power Just gorgeous. I think it's a little too big now. Whatever to be honest the oversized is kind of a look No, you know what? It's fine. It's not that big. Well, it's cute. It's cute. Wish they had other colors than this They didn't I don't even think they sell this one anymore. So I was like whatever, but she was thick we loved, uh, my internship was during the summer, so I was pretty much overheated, but one thing about me in an internship is I want to wear a blazer. Like, this is my business era, y'all. Even though no one else was wearing a blazer because it was very much business casual, the girls were here to show out. Mainly because we were in our sponsorship era, so we did have a bunch of blazers. Here we have a brown blazer from one of our very first Yes Style hauls. Rewards code Tina Tran. I remember at the time, I think she was, maybe she was a little bit too tight. Now... She is sophisticated. I have very much worn this during my internship era, but very much worn this recently as well because I wanted to give a sophisticated art school student look. <laughs> is that the look? I'm not too sure. I don't really, as you can tell, the girls don't know styles and cores, cottage core, we'd be saying that to anything. <laughs> I recently wore this to an art gallery to the cause exhibit, even though, you know, the girls don't really care about cause, we just know. I see the statue, I'm like, oh my gosh, BTS posted this so many times. There was literally a jack-in-the-box display there as well, which I may have may not posted on Instagram, probably have. Here it is. Yes, yes, 
Yeah, and here's the exact same thing, but in black. This is also from Yastel, obviously, because I said the exact same thing. These are XL oversized, as you can tell, even though I was just dissing them for their oversized leather jacket. This one, however, is fine and we love. <laughs> black blazer, what's there to it? We love, you know, sometimes we want to go with the black blazer, sometimes we want to go with the brown blazer. And if Yastel makes me do a clothing haul, you better believe I'll be getting a different color of this. This is from our Yoans haul. When I tried it then, it looks huge. When I try it now, it looks huge. And to be honest, we don't need to do like this because it looks huge. Go like this. And it's giving more business casual instead of super businessy, super formal because of how oversized it is. And you know what? That's what makes it a look. That's what makes it a look. And yes, I did very much wear this to my internship a lot. Which was probably a bad idea because I was sweating balls in this. Now, this is not a blazer, but I very much did include it with my blazers. Because it's giving the blazer a look. Did came with matching shorts, but I wore it like this and I loved it. Like, it's short sleeve. How I actually styled it was with a tank, a white top underneath, and then a skirt, I believe. And it was just like that, and it was a look actually may not be a look for you but it was a look for me i don't know what this would categorize as but this is from cider and it is yeah well when i first got it, i was like twice literally anything on cider i'd be like twice this did come with matching pants i believe maybe yes it's giving me royalty vibes yeah and our very last blazer of tonight this brown checkered one Plaid one, sorry, not checkered. Don't remember if it was in a haul, I don't think it was. This was actually one of the very first blazers that I had, and to be honest, I love. Like, it fit very well, and it very looks professional. I would wear this in Zoom interviews. Maybe it's just because my vision is super blurry as I'm looking in the viewfinder, but it's very much like pajama, pajama top. <laughs> I think that is just the illusion of the plaid that's making it look a little pajama. Now, the bomber jackets that I have are just my merch bomber jackets, which we saw in the merch video of the Classic Catalog series. So let's speed run that with clips from that video because I don't feel like trying them on, girl, because it's getting a little too dusty. <laughs> so we have our Ariana bomber jacket, which I wore all the time. <laughs> Here we have a butter cardigan. Really crazy because it's not knitwear, it's like this mesh material. So strange, never seen anything like it. Next, we have this BTS jacket. Why does it say size A? Here it is. It's not as baggy in the arms. I don't know, it's looking a little too straight. You know what I mean? We have the jackets. Here is, is this kind of a bomber jacket? I don't know, but it is red and it is huge. This is the Purpose Tour bomber jacket. Is this kind of bomber jacket? Ooh, here it is in the back, Purpose Tour. Literally my favorite bomber jacket. I wore it all the time during school. Oh, is this from a Japanese collection? I don't know. Sauce. Cinnamon roll merch! All the girls have this on TikTok, so I was like, babe, I should too. Bought it off of AliExpress, because I think that's where the people got it anyways. This is from AliExpress. The zipper really kills you. Um, It's very sharp. Yeah, she's a racer, she's a racer. And the very last of them. My Hufflepuff cloak embroidery. Oh god. So fucking dusty. We will now be moving on to our fur jackets fur at that. Very, very dusty because of these jackets right now. And it's all going into my throat. This is, showing you first, the favorite of mine. Wore this a lot. Let me tell you, she is a bit thin. Well, she's thick. Like, I'm sweating right now. Mainly because I'm fucking choking on the dust. But I wore this during the entire New York trip that we went to as my jacket. Yeah. And you know what? The girls are going to wear a mask for these jackets because I learned from the merch video that the dust was a little too much. The dust is what got me so fucking lightheaded. The girls almost died. This is a jacket, also a fan favorite. This one is a little bit more thin and is she cropped? I don't know. But this one's looking a little more chic. You know what I mean? The other ones were looking very much teddy bear, a little too big, which I still loved. But this one, she's, she's chic. Is she not chic? Though I've never seen anything like this on her, I feel like Jenny from Blackpink. <laughs> I think I'm just thinking of the famous teddy bear photo card. This one I've also worn a lot during the rebrand era. I'm not too sure which haul this is in. I know it's in a haul. It has to be. Here she is. She's not that thick. Yeah, just a pink fur jacket. As you can tell, the girls love pink. Me, I'm the girls. And our last fur jacket, a pink one. Except this one is light pink and it has hearts. So cute. She's also a cropped one. We love, you know, she's cute, she's the moment. Personally, I think I like the second fur jacket better. This one's fine. I think I'm into the baggy arm look. 
right? Like, it's a little baggy here as well. But maybe the pink is a little too bright. Now, these next few jackets and our last few jackets might be some of our worst, and to be honest, a regret. Uh, also, you know, that this was very much in the beginning of my rebrands era haul so we were experimenting but also you know we were getting a lot of sponsorship offers and i think we're kind of riding the highs of that personally now that we're looking back maybe it isn't something that we should have done you know what it was fun while it lasted but at least we didn't do it after <laughs> and you know what this okay it's cute it's cute whatever yeah okay it's cute you know what maybe i would wear this maybe i would wear this i think i just forgot about it <laughs> But I don't know, if I were to get something like this, it would be plain instead of, you know, this kind of pad look. You know what, it's cute actually, now that I'm wearing this again. But this is more of a fall look, not a spring transitioning from winter look, you know what I mean? Anyways, this might actually be a keep, we'll give it a second chance. The other ones may definitely be a sell. This again is from the same Yoen's jacket haul. As you can tell, we were getting a little experimental. We went a little bit overboard, you know, I didn't really know my limits in the rebrand era, so I was trying to go all over the place. Now, we have big regrets, and it's like, what's the purpose? This is a tweed jacket, as you can tell. I was like, oh my god, Blackpink Jenny, even though I've never seen a picture of her wearing a tweed jacket. Maybe, maybe not. This is my first and only tweed jacket. Never again. Because, you know what, maybe with some of the stuff that we're about to see, and you know, the previous jacket, this jacket, I think... Maybe I wanted to adapt into that style, but instead it was a little too soon or never meant to happen. Another Yoan's jacket, this is a 4XL. She's a little too big as you can tell, but as we may or may not remember, if you watch that vlog, it's very much graduation gown. Another one from Yoan's, a long coat jacket. Cute, I guess. She has this design. No, it's cute. I feel like if I wanted to, I could wear this, right? She's really thin though, so I'm like, in what weather would I wear this? You know what I mean? I feel like from the look, this is too much for spring. And this, these colors don't give fall. And this is way too thin for winter. You know what I mean? And another long coat, a black one. She's way too big, as you can tell, and very long. And she's also thin, so it's like, what scenario would you wear this? That's why you should really be checking the materials and the description of the products when you buy, y'all. This was, though, in the very, f maybe one of the very first Rebrand Era videos. You know what? I've always wanted a long coat. That's why I bought this. But I think if I were to be in my long coat era, I should really invest in a really expensive one that is suitable for the winter time. I do think, though, I wore this in the fall. Oh, yeah, I wore this to LA airport. This is my airport look in LA because I was giving Jungkook at the airport. <laughs> And that is the last of them, y'all. Let me take off the mask so we can risk some dust. That is the last of them, y'all. You know what? Some jackets, they were good. These last few ones, they're a little bad, which maybe seems like we ended on a bad note. But you know what? The cardigans, they brought us it. Anyways, I'll see y'all in the next video of this series. Thank y'all for watching and goodbye. This is more than a crash, more than a like, like, more than a lie. Baby, I'm making mine, and I ain't giving up. This is more than a crash, more than a like, like, more than a lie. Baby, I'm making mine, and I ain't giving up. Don't run away, yes. don't run away from the truth. Cause I'm not giving up on you. Don't run away, don't run away from the truth. Cause I'm not giving up on you.